process along. Um, there have been archaeology studies since the 80s on this property and we were able to register with the state. I'm sorry, I, should, I thought I turned this off. <laughs> Is it his history emergency? Well, it's the boss. <laughs> um, so it goes on vibrate. Don't tell him. Um, we were able to register these three different locations with the state's uh, Department of Historic Resources. So this is where the majority of indications of anything going on at this location from those digs in the 80s. And this right here is where we have had, I would say, the most good luck. The most productivity. Product, good yeah. word. Um, this is where the barracks used to stand. This was a former city farm. And as I've mentioned to a couple of people, this walkway was asphalt. And we brought it up, it and it's brick, which the brick was probably placed on a foot-worn path. So that's interesting in and of itself. Also, Ken was here from the beginning. Correct. He was here watching them bring down the buildings to make sure that nothing was disturbed. And we are working off of these shovel tests. Whenever you see a filled in circle, that means something was found in it. How big about would you say a shovel uh, test A shovel is? test is about 12 to 18 inches across. And here, it's probably no deeper than two feet. Every positive shovel test might be as simple as a single piece of glass or a single nail. It could be a dozen artifacts. It could be a dozen artifacts from the you know, 17th century through the 20th century. Everything up here is just positive or negative. This is binary, basically. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what we typically do is take all the artifacts and its location, do the analysis and start cluster analysis and figure out where we're getting hot spots. And that's how we ended up here. Right. How far apart are those? Ducks? Those are 20 feet intervals. 20 feet. Which is, I mean, I'm more of a metric guy, so it's about 67 meters. Okay. And this location right here, we decided not to pay any attention to because it's more modern debris. Mm -hmm. Correct. This area right here, for those of you who were somewhat familiar with this location, that was the barn. This is the front field. Mm -hmm. We've started a little bit there in that we're peeling off the soil. And when you peel off the soil, you're not damaging anything, hopefully. But we have got the archaeologists walking behind every shovelful yep, every, that's taken. Yep, we're using a backhoe to take off the uh, topsoil, mm -hmm. which is about out here 20 centimeters, 20, 30. So we're talking about a foot. And if they see anything that say, wait, 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 they stop automatically yeah. hmm. so um that is this location so we're going to head over here you want to well, give a little uh, bit of background well i mean from the shovel testing that we were working on was done in 92 93. that identified about a half dozen real good hot spots around here that we knew there were that were productive that were producing artifacts uh this winter after we took down the, the structures we came out and did ground penetrating radar across all of the area, all of the two sites, not, not the third modern site, but of the two sites, we ran GPR across the entirety uh, and located uh, several areas that there were anomalies that we identified as likely to be archaeological deposits. Uh, we decided to focus on that. And uh, the focus of everything is we're looking for Warwick Town. Warwick Town was founded in 1680 by an active local government uh, decided to set up 15 small towns up and down the James River area which would act as import export points to make sure that the local government was receiving their taxes when they sent stuff back to Europe and received things from Europe. Uh, Jamestown although it had been founded to become one of those hubs Warwick Town became that hub and it was founded like I said founded in 1680 really didn't get going to about we know 1691 things were happening out here. 1691 they had had a, uh, a courthouse built. They had a tavern, which is very typical of the time to have a tavern as you know, kind of a local gathering. Uh, there was not typical for this time at all. 
<laughs> oh, Just no. Oh, no. Well, back in South Carolina, we're a little bit. <laughs> we got a little bit more of the Protestant thing going on in South Carolina. But in the uh, 1690s, um, we also had a mercantile, and we understood there are at least two domestic structures out here. There are practically no historic documents from Warwick Town, although it was the county seat of Warwick County. Uh, it was inhabited throughout 16, 1600s, up until 1807 or 1809. By that time, the interior of the peninsula had become further developed. There was infrastructure there, and coming out here, this was coming out to the country. So coming out here to do your, your business became a hassle. A bunch of the locals uh, petitioned state government to move, uh, pick up Warwick Town and move the county seat. They, in 1813, they moved the, or I think it's 1810, they moved the courthouse over to the community known as Denby now. I believe it's out over by the uh, historic, they're all in the same location. Um, and Warwick Town becomes no longer a city. Uh, after that, what was Warwick Town was put under the plow, became a farm, was a 296-acre farm owned by the Young family who had run the tavern and uh, the mercantile in Warwick Town. So it's my assumption that uh, they probably removed a lot of the brick, a lot of the structure. They, they cannibalized the town and just le basically left what we have as archeological deposit. Uh, and during the Civil War, this area, although it was rural and a farm by that time, was inhabited by both the Confederate and the Union. Uh, there are Civil War earthworks on the edge of the river that are not really part of our uh, investigation. We have uh, we searched anomalies out at the point. Uh, what we found with the GPR out there was actually 20th century garbage from the from the prison. Hmm. This drainage we were hoping might be something to do with the wharf or something to do with the the river aspect of the town. That was 20th century as well. We picked up quite a few uh, subsurface features over here and up at the north when you come through the gate. We have quite a few over there. We haven't taken a look at any of those yet. Uh, those are going to be the end of the project. But what we have right now, um, let's go over there and take a look. Well, just a few things before we head over there. Um, for those of you who are local to the area, Ken was talking about the 1810 courthouse, which of course then became the 1884 courthouse. I don't know if you guys are aware of up in Denby courthouse complex. Mm -hmm. I want you to remember mm -hmm. what that little 1810 building looks like when we go over here. Also, when these barracks came down, we were really hopeful that something had been preserved, but it ended up being that the ground was just so disturbed that we there was a basement in here that was deeper than most basements go. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just, totally jumbled up, but people weren't paying attention to archaeology at that time at this place. Yeah. So, early 20th century, 1913? Yeah. Yeah, early yeah. 20th century. I have a question. Yes. If you could, on sure. that map, just put yeah. your finger on where we are right now. Where, where we are right now mm -hmm. is right here. Thank you. Do you know yeah. our present elevation? I honestly don't know our present no, elevation. No, I do not. It's low, but not as low as it could be in Newport News. Yeah. So, how we, about that? <laughs> we are not hitting water. Uh, we're well, you know, we're on a bluff well above the river. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, that's uh, something uh, we're yeah, running into. Point. I'm Pardon? sorry. Can you walk us out toward the bluff, bluff at some point so we can um, see where we are? What, what we can do, I think, would be nice is after we do this, anyone who's interested can go back and look at the earthwork, look over the bluff, and look at that. Thank and you. what I was just going to say is, we also don't know how much of this has eroded away. You know, that's a lot of that's a lot of years mm -hmm. to go by. So All we're right. gonna head over here.